Two London sides with very proud traditions, albeit from different parts of the city. Huge supports around the world. Stay tuned and we'll bring you all the action live from Stamford Bridge as Chelsea face Spurs. Two London clubs about to face each other and Chelsea held a 16-year unbeaten league record against Spurs between 1990 and 2006. In recent times, it's been a lot more even. Our venue is Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray. Stuart Robson is alongside me for commentary. Stuart, what are you looking forward to seeing today? Well, Derek, I'm looking forward to seeing a really good game. It's a London derby that's become more intense over the years. And if recent times anything to go by, this should be a really good game between two excellent sides and we've got some very good players. Well, he can't believe his side haven't taken the lead there. That was a big chance. Here's how it looks for Chelsea. Although it's down as a 4-5-1, it's more likely to be three players in behind the main centre board. And those three are key to this team's creativity. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Timo Werner starts with Dejan Kulusevski out wide. And up front, Hugh Min Son is the lead striker today. Passing opportunity. Vital interception. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Oh, what a great chance this is, Derek. Oh, he's blocked it! Again, the ball over the top is an absolute beauty, and Son finds that bit of space in the box to finish so clinically. That's an excellent goal. Well, just look at his reaction. That could prove to be a massive goal for his team. So, underway again here. One nil the score. Enzo Fernandez could be dangerous. He caught the attack illegally. And perhaps a card is forthcoming. certainly deserved a yellow, it's a poor challenge, you have to say. Enzo 
Fernandez. Di Sassi. Chelsea looking dangerous. Nkunku. Ball retention so important. Thiago Silva. Palmer. Palmer. This is Thiago Silva. Mikhailo Mudri. Showing a lot of guile there. Kukureya. Thiago Silva. And that will be a Chelsea ball. He sees yellow now. Misuma. And he read it well. Enzo Fernandez. Danger here as he runs up. to the defence. So almost at the end of the first 45 and Chelsea a long way from their best. Stuart, they've got to up their game. Well, they've been outplayed in this first half and they need that half-time whistle to come soon so they can regroup, change one or two things tactically and come out with a better attitude in the second 45. Spurs pushing forward with options available. Put on for that tackle. And across the byline, a goal kick as a result. Well, one thing they've done so very well is keep Christopher and Kunku quiet. And that's no easy task, is it, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's usually so clever around the edge of the box, but today he just hasn't shown that. As the touch map shows us, he hasn't had enough touches in those key areas. Who's still? Sado. Palmer. Gallagher. Return to Nkunku. And quick thinking defensively. Caicedo. Now Chelsea 
in a position of menace. A chance perhaps. A tremendous block. Counter attacking possibilities. We will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Crossing opportunity. That didn't happen for them in attack. Enzo Fernandez. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Away they go again into the second half. It was spellbinding stuff from Spurs in the first 45. Caicedo. Very quick thinking there. Dejan Kulusevski. Tottenham in an attacking sense. Chance to play it in. Takes the shot and did just enough defensively. Well read to win possession back. Isuba. Kulusevski, Pedro Poro, 
strong play here. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Out. Sterling. Really good build up, but no end product. Pat Matal side. James Madison. Bendy gets on this. That struck so cleanly. What a good finish. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. And they get the ball moving once more. And this is turning into a trouncing. Spurs hold all the aces. A piece of attacking play from Raheem Sterling. Kulusevski. Chelsea did well to regain control of it. Being edged on by the crowd. That's excellent defending following the cross. Kuku. Determined defending. of pressing without the ball and it might appeal to Raheem Sterling you know and nothing comes of it well the counter chance looks very real and it fizzled out good ball over the top hey, so they had attacking momentum but not so Dejan Kulusevski Might work out Son Not there to intercept contest they haven't been at the races this evening well they love him and he loves them it's great scenes here 
Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Kukureya. Now options are plenty. Thiago Silva. Moises Caicedo. Caicedo Sterling High quality defending No foul, Spurs advantage Kunku Good pull one back here Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. You can't really say defences are on top. 3 2. Kung Min Song. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. The clock is not on Chelsea's side, but it's not over for them. It's still alive. Problem solved for now. And that's not how Chelsea fans were scripting it in their minds. A defeat. I wonder what you thought about their overall performance. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's had a tremendous game and attack, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.